Hi everybody. Welcome back to the bookshop. If you're new here, my name is Shelly. Tonight I'm doing another flip through. I'm going to try and get uh, two journals done in this video. These are both, um, well this is a writing journal, so it doesn't have a very much, you know, embellishment to it. So I'm going to show it second. I want to do this one real quick first. Um, this is a little notebook. I made two notebooks to go with this journal and I just couldn't fit them both in there. It gets hard to, you'll see the other one. Anyway, it's just a mini, this is the papers that I used. You'll see them in there. It's a Artie Mays kit. Uh, I think it's called Not So Shabby. She did a color version and a, what she calls tone on tone. It's kind of a shabby chic or uh, sepia colored, not black and white, but more sepia toned. And that's what I used for this mostly. There's lots of little ephemera, tiny little flower there. And it's mostly blank pages. There's a little pocket here with some tags, a little decorated. There's lace on several of the pages. Just blank paper, little mini pockets with little <laughs> cute little tag. This is a shabby dabby doodah little lady fussy cut out. And then the little butterflies off of a doily. And then just more blank paper, all coffee dyed. I think probably some blackberry dyed. This is the doily paper that I made. All kinds of little scraps from, I think these might be from her spring mist kit, but that's, this is the kind of coloring. And so, and then the last page with a little pocket, a little butterfly, a little gemstone. This is from her, um, from Artie Mae's Vintage Days kit. Anyway, that goes with this journal. It has the little placard, says memories. It's an old book, an old vintage book. And what did I do? Let's see. It has three signatures. It's uh, about seven and a half inches by five inches. Has a good 168 pages, not counting the little notebooks, this one or the other one that's in there. Um, over 20 pockets, 50 some tags. You'll see it all. I did some little beads off of here. This, for some reason, reminds me of Native American, but these wooden beads are from an antique rosary. I collect rosaries and sometimes I get um, old broken ones. And if I can't repair them, and then I use the beads for something else. It's got the hitch post closure. This, I talked about this in the previous video, the um, back video. This I bought at the Dollar Tree and it's shelf liner. The kind that you just line, you put in your kitchen shelves or wherever so you can wipe them down. I love it. It's textured. But I love the image. I'm really into neutrals right now. And this beautiful, almost like a sketch. It's so perfect for what I'm obsessed with right now. Lace on the spine. And let's get in here. It is, yeah, three signatures. So this is the kit I was talking about called Not So Shabby. It's kind of a sepia, but it has a hint just barely of a little bit of blue in there, I think. And then I used, I used that for the pages and then I used the color for the ephemera. So this is the color. It's uh, got blues and pinks. So this is one of the pages on the inside. I put a couple of butterflies there to cover the brads that I used to attach the plaque. So, and this is another cool thing I haven't seen anybody use, and I'm kind of surprised. It's metal. And 
and um, came from the Dollar Tree, and I stamped it with my And the Story Begins stamp. So that goes in there. And then this is all just kit ephemera. I didn't make a lot of stuff for this journal. I used the kit. It's a very... I love the kit. It's so pretty. Like I said, I'm kind of obsessed with the neutrals lately. These are several different... This book belongs to tags. These are also Artie Mays. I did say the kit is Artie Mays, right? This little layered tag type thing is from My Porch Prints. That's got this date on it and I use this Tim Holtz number 24 to go with this date and I put a big old eyelid in there. All of the signature covers and then inside is they all have lace on them. Um, most of the pages are printed images on one side, lines on the other, so there's lots of writing space. This is just some cool card stock. Like I said, ephemera from the kit. So I'm not going to pull them all out because they, you know, I love this. Though I used um, gray ink to do a lot of the inking. A little bit has a vintage photo on it, but I used gray on the non-colored. This is blackberry dyed paper. I have this um, doily. It's called quilt block is what I call it. I have it in my Etsy store, which I just opened. This is a first page of an old vintage um, guest book. The kit has these um, postcards, and these are real stamps that I put on some of them. Now, some of them have the blue and pink stamps. Those are digital. The color ones are the ones I put on. And there's one of these in each signature. These hearts are from Tracy Fox. And this is just a, basically a sheet of paper that's folded up. It's held closed with the whale tail tab. So it's a big sheet of paper to write on. And you get both sides except for, you know, the one corner that's decorated. So, and then you just tuck it under there. Put it in the pocket. I've done pockets in the pink theme and in the blue theme. Okay, so we're just going to go through this real quick. Some of the inked papers that I made from Javier Neri's video. Uh, plant book page, vintage. Here's a belly band from the kit. Some of the ephemera in here is just from my stash. I can't remember where it came from. But this has an old stamp on it that I put on there. Old three cent stamp from... I got stamps from around the world. This is, um, what do you call them? Collage master board. And then this is from Artie Mae's um, Butterflies in Blue kit. I think that was left over. I've got the Butterflies in Blue kit journal coming up. Did a big, beautiful blue um, fabric covered journal. And one, this is real um, handmade paper. It feels like fabric. You know, I think some people call it rag paper. It does feel like it has cotton in it. And when you try to tear it, it's hard to tear. The center of each signature has a couple of these pink digital pages. They're printed on avocado paper. So you've got the pink in there. But the printed images, these are from Lens Art Studio. I'll try to remember to link that in the description box because I really love these papers and I bought quite a few kits there lately. They're very um, well priced. You get a lot for your money. Okay, here's the blue and then we've got the blue tag and this one has a blue stamp. That's a digital. So the other side of the book page. I thought the inked paper went so perfect with this journal. I was really happy about that. That's the other side of the paper. See the neutral colors? I'm loving that. I have five 
well, four kind of neutral colored journals and then one that I did well, sort of a black and white theme. That's a blackberry dyed paper and then more ephemera from the kit. And that's the first signature. Second signature has a little silver heart. I used eyelets for the charms. I was originally going to put them on the lace, but sometimes I don't trust that. Here's the pretty blue ephemera. Love these papers. Put a strip across there and then the butterfly tag to make that a little pocket too. A little kind of a belly band. Okay. And this is one of those flip up, flip down. It's writing paper. Blackberry dyed paper. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? It's printed on the blackberry dyed paper. So it's got the blue background, just like the ones that I printed on the avocado dyed paper to give them the pink background. This is a real stamp. It looks like it's from some Asian country. They're really old. You can tell by looking at them that they're really old. Lace on the page edge. This um, blackberry dyed paper, it looks almost more blue than purple, which is probably why I chose it. And the pink avocado. So this is the center with the pink from Lens Art Studio. Now this is an envelope and this might have been done before. I just don't remember ever seeing it. I was working on making a, a window pocket and I decided just to put the envelope over the page. So we got a pocket on this side. It's collaged. This is just kit ephemera. And then the window on this side that just cut the flap off and slid it right over the edge of the page. I had looked for a page that would have a pretty image coming through. This is the Lens Art Studio page and it had that rose in the perfect spot to shine through the window. I thought that was so pretty. It turned out great. And this is the second one of these. This was a neutral one, but I inked it up with pink ink. And this is a Tracy Fox. So it's the same. I'm not going to unfold it all, but it's this one's with um, pink paper. All three of them were different papers different colors. I think the first one was purple, wasn't it? And that one's pink. I think the last one might be blue. This has the blue paper. Blue here with the blue tag and the blue stamp and then blue lace. So it kind of goes back and forth, the blue, pink. Now here's the other little journal. And this, the only way I ended up getting this to fit in here was between the journals. It has that area. Otherwise, it just wouldn't work. And this is mostly blank paper. There's a few pockets. This is the Lens Art Studio ephemera in this little journal with pink lace and pink paper. Some of that, I think that one back there is from the kit that matches this. But yeah. Just lots of avocado dyed paper, all blank for writing. The middle pages have a pocket with two tags each. And then when you get towards the back, I glued two pages together and made a tag. That's a chapter one journaling card. And then a couple of tags in here that has lace. And then one on the back. That's another chapter one. And it's stenciled. So this, I just used the tickets, made a simple belly band from the kit, and then slip this under here. And I have this bird shaped um, paper clip. And I just slide it on, helps keep the journal from moving around too much. It keeps it in a good spot so that it'll close well. 
So that's the second signature. This is the last one. We've got a charm here. It's just a pink little like gemstone. It's got a little angel wing on it. And then one of those metal rings that says believe. So a little ephemera from the kit. This is another um, guest book. I like to buy those. I have probably three different ones that I find at uh, thrift stores. Sometimes they have pretty paper pages. The plant book. Now here's the blue. A blue pocket. Lots and lots of blank paper and writing space. This is an envelope. I just fussy cut and decorated it with a little to small doily and some lace. And this is um a real vintage bingo card. Just this paper is beet dyed, not avocado dyed. You can tell by how bright pink it is. The avocado dyed is you more dusty rose. It's not usually so bright. And then put a little pocket on the back for another, some more ephemera. The other part, the flap of the envelope is going to come up and it was made into a tuck spot also. So this is the Lens Art Studio, two pages in the center. And then this is the flap of that envelope. I had it come this way, I just glued it. It was one of those square flaps, so I just glued it here and here after I um, punched it with the Martha Stewart punch and backed it with the painter's masking paper and I just turned it into a pocket. Here's another one of those flip up, flip down. It's got a, a little stamp there to tuck it into. And then lots of paper. Here's the third. This one has the purple. So the first one must have been blue. We did the blue, a pink, and this is the purple. And it's using the blackberry dyed paper. Now, the other blackberry dyed paper I showed is I call a quilt block. This one is a Venetian lace pattern. I did have it at my store. I sold out during the grand opening, but I'm making more right now. So it's got a really pretty pattern. And these big flowers, those something that I bought a long time ago. I can't really remember. This was also a neutral pocket, and I just inked the flowers to make them blue. Okay, the plant book. Isn't that beautiful? Pink and blue roses. It went so beautiful with the pink and blue of Andrea's kit. And then another page from the... It's got a little mini pocket there. And that's about it. Down back here is a pocket full of ephemera. I made this with um, a flashcard. And this is, I think, yeah, it's tissue paper. Just perfect colors and stuff. And so ephemera from the kit. And then I tucked in a little handmade by um, Shelly Eagle, my name, and Bookshop Shelly. That's my Etsy store and my YouTube channel. And these little handmade by, I think, are a freebie from my porch prints. And I just used um, one of the programs on, um, I can't think of it right now, to put my name on it. The last piece, last, this is a glassine bag, and I put the Tim Holtz paper on it. This is a tag from a collage. This also, I did a collage masterboard, I think. Both of these are cut from it. And then this last tag is made from this shelf liner paper. And I just, it's real simple, put a gold flower sticker on there. And um, I think this is a Tracy Fox nature definition tag. It's got a nice size silver key with a heart on it. 
those are hooked together with a bulb pin. You can always separate them. And those slip into this bag. And that's it. So that's the first one with its little mini journal. Let's see where we're at. 20 minutes? Yeah. I should be able to do this in probably 10 minutes or so. I'm calling this one the Scrap Fabric Journal. I, um, for the first time ever, I bought one of those um, on Etsy. You see them, people advertise, you know, a bag of scraps. And that's what it was. And this piece was in there. This was not part of it. This was a separate piece. This actually and this back piece were one. And I cut it apart and used this piece for the back, this piece for the front. I'm just in love with this, though. The gray, I thought it was perfect. But it wasn't big enough to go all the way around. It went around to right here. And then this piece right here is actually a piece of linen that I got from Rachel at Roxy Creations. Um, she lives in Italy. I'm sure most of you know who she is. And um, I bought one of her fabric packages. And that's where this linen came from. And I just put these lace here to cover up where the two fabrics came together. It has some really pretty blue and silver and black beads. I think the combination is really pretty. I'm into black right now too. I've been doing black tags, black flowers like this. So I don't know. They don't seem to be very popular, but I sure like them. Anyway, so I took the blue from the pages. These pages are from, um, it's called Manu Design Studio. And I bought a kit from her, more than a kit. You know, it was about a year ago how some designers, when they're going to retire stuff, they'll put it all together and do a mega kit. You know, hundreds of pages. And that's where most of the pages in here came from. So over here, this journal also has one of the metal tags. I made this pocket from book pages and I did my little trim on the edges and then sewed it. But the this one also was stamped and the story begins with the this kind of blue gray color that matches. I think this is an Artie Mays piece of paper, but that's what the whole color scheme is kind of this bluish gray. This is a, a collage tag. I put a little bit of stickles on the butterfly. And this piece is one of the Lens Art Studio. So I used like leftovers and stuff from my stash from this. So all three of these pieces or four pieces are from the Lens Art Studio, and they're probably left over from that last journal. Because I, I only used the page, mostly the pages in there, and I used some tags in the little one. And then we've got a couple choices for the This Book Belongs To. So this is um, a writing journal. It's going to have just a few pockets, I think, it's two signatures. They're large signatures, though. They're pretty good size. Let's see. It measures six by four and a half. It's 136 pages. Did I say it's two signatures? That's the main. Oh, this one has antique paper. I told you I got this fabric from Rachel in Italy. I also got a paper kit from her. So this journal has antique paper from Italy, and I'm talking 1800s, 
It also has the French dictionary paper that I used in my grandma's attic journal. It's from 1890. It's 130 years old. And then it has some Japanese, or no, not Japanese, Chinese paper. Wait till you see it. It's very cool. So the tags, they don't belong to a kit. They're just going to be random. That's a chapter one. And this is one that I made with just its collage tag. You can see on the back. That's a Tracy Fox nature definition tag. This is one of the pages from the Manu Design Studio. So pretty. Love the colors. I just love the colors. The blues, the birds, the flowers. Okay, and then we have Manila drawing paper. This is vintage ledger. That I love this cool short paper. It was in a leather with four rings. This is the French Dictionary, 1890. This is a large oversized like postcard made into a page. This is some more all from different kits, but I just went through them and picked out the blue pages. But they're all from Menu Design Studio. This is um, player piano music paper. And I sewed, I have one of those. I got it last Christmas and it does the little leaf design on it. It's backed with painters, masking paper, graph paper. Here's the Japanese paper. Look at that. It reminds me of straw paper. So I think it's rice paper. It's kind of thin, but it's strong too. It has all the Chinese characters. Now they read up and down, and I think they read right from to left also. Oh, and then I made this fabric tag. I kind of forgot that was in here. See, this is a journal card from that last um, journal. So yeah, like I said, a lot of leftovers. This is, um, from that, some of that ticking and it's got little, I think these little pieces here are from the Tracy Fox kit. Could be Artie Mays, one or the other. Just leftover stuff. This is, um, Medieval Mirage. These are Artie Mays from her William Morris kit. Just lots of pretty stuff. Um, not highly embellished, though. Like these tags could be decorated. You could put toppers on them, ribbon or something. It's another Manu Design Studio. This is from Rachel's sister, Sarah. Sarah at Roxy Creations has some digital um, like embroidery papers. And it's one of my favorites. These tags I made with um, decoupage. These are Tracy Fox tags. A little butterfly sticker and a bumblebee. Oh, and the blues. This is the Italian book page. Very old, but it's really nice and thick. The way it can last, you know, 200 years. This is another Manu Design Studio in the blue. Okay, let's go. Another Manu Design Studio. There's a huge variety of papers in here from the same person, but probably from half a dozen different kits. So, which um, you'd have to go and look. She has a lot of stuff. There's the other side of the Italian paper. And then this is the other half of the Chinese. This It was a little bit long, so I just folded it up and made it into a pocket on both sides. A couple more tags. These are a little bit different, but they're still from that William Morris kit of Artie Mays. This Went through my stash and found stuff. These tags are from Medieval Mirage. And that's from that last journal, the shelf liner journal. 
Okay, graph paper. There's the player piano music paper. That's the other half of the postcard, the other half of the French dictionary, ledger, last pocket, and just some tags. This is just a piece of paper folded up. Okay, so that's the first signature. Second, similar color, all different blues and grays. There's the ledger paper, blackberry dyed paper, French dictionary. Here's another of the large postcards. I think these are from lilac and lavender. There's another. This second signature is a, just a duplicate, sort of. It's got different stuff in it, somewhat. Actually, this all looks pretty much the same. These are different tags from Medieval Mirage, leftovers from the previous journal, and more tags from the Artie Maze. Pretty. And this is a little pocket I made. That's a little piece of that paper from Sarah and the tag hemi tag that was just collaged and it's got a couple stickers on it and that goes in that pocket and then we made a lace pocket chapter one tags italian book page this is from manu design studio here's some more tags that I made, collage, and this one I think was inked to make it that blue and use some Artie Mays elements. That's the middle. The Italian paper, some more tags. I made this tag probably two years ago. <laughs> so talk about going through my stash. Little, lots of little blue elements. This is one of those Tim Holtz slots. This is actually Tim Holtz paper. So little tickets and other butterfly cards, tags. Everything's inked in blue to give it that blue color. Here's the other side of the Japanese paper. Pretty much more of the same. Lots of um, tags that could be decorated. You could do a lot with these. So the person who gets this could have a lot of fun decorating it themselves since there's very little embellishment but there's lots of tags to be used and stuff. And that's pretty much it. Last, that's another chapter one. Isn't that pretty? And then this is all inked blue, but this is fussy cut from a napkin. And that's the last page. This is the last pocket. Pretty, that's um, fussy cut glued on. This, another collage tag with the Tracy, Tracy Fox Nature definition. And these elements, these are Artie Mays. Those numbers, chapter one tag, and then handmade by my signature. It's got my Etsy and my YouTube. And then back here, this um, cover was made from one of the yellow envelopes, the small size that are what, nine by six. And so this end of the envelope was left open to make a pocket. 
you can probably look in there yeah and see the yellow envelope so that was a pocket for this nice large collage tag and that just slides in there and that's it it's got the hitch post closure good to go so that's those two and that's it okay so these are going to be in my etsy shop they already are in my etsy shop i'm just trying to do the flip throughs and i'll put the time stamp for the second one so it you can go to that and see okay thank you so much i will see you guys in the next video i have two more little i'm going to do these two little journals in a video and then i've got two of the large single signature journals i'm not sure if they'll each need their own video or not to um Artie Mays kits okay so i still have at least two more videos okay thanks for watching bye